first, so Mario gets to start. Fiona, good to see you. Um, I know this is kind of a tough question maybe to, to answer uh, in, in short form, but uh, what does playing at Syracuse, the last time you'll be able to step on the floor at the Carrier Dome uh, on Sunday, what has it meant to you? Um, it's meant so much to me um, just being here and um, oh my gosh, <laughs> but it's going to be really emotional this weekend, you know, just everything I've been through and just when I first got here, like Coach Q has believed and trusted in me since I stepped on campus. So I'll just be very grateful. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it here. I apologize. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh, along the lines of, if I can ask one more of the way you, the team has been playing as of late, what do you think, you know, needs to change as you head down the stretch here and, and try and make a run toward an ACC championship? Um, wait, sorry, what was that? What do we need to focus on? Yeah, yeah, more or less. Yeah, so like I believe we just, I don't know, I feel like we just need to come together more maybe. Um, I feel like every team we play shoots very high percentage. <laughs> like they just don't miss. So it's kind of difficult, but I feel like we're best in transition. When we push the ball and we get quick baskets, that's when we kind of, you know, get a lead and kind of take off a little bit um so i feel we just need to be um just push the ball and everyone needs to contribute so thanks tiana see you tomorrow thanks next question we're gonna go to roshan fernandez um hi tiana so i know the the new jerseys which were made um for you guys were kind of a surprise um what was your thought when you first saw them I loved them. Like, I really loved them so much. Um, I feel like Noah put a lot of thought into it. And obviously, it was like a, a lot of people, not just him, but um, they just put a lot of thought into it. And I just appreciate, you know, the little pin on it. Um, just little things like the detail to it is awesome. So I'm excited to play in the pink ones this Sunday. And just wearing the pink proud. Yeah, and that was said um, when I talked with him that those jerseys were designed obviously for everyone to wear, but they were designed especially for you. Um, what did that feel like to sort of know that someone went through all of that and um, just for you to see the final product? Yeah, it meant so much to me that they put so much effort into it just for me. Like, I don't know, like, I guess I'm just very blessed and thankful. Um, that they were thinking of me at that time. So yeah, I'm just grateful. Yeah, and I'm, just one more. I know you had a photo shoot with him and um, Noah took the photos. Like, what did you tell him like face-to-face -face when you saw him um, after? I told him that I loved them and I thanked him so much. And I said that they're awesome. And I was just like, um, what's it called? Complimenting him on all the work that he's put and time, you know, I feel like it was a lot of effort and time. So I just really thanked him for that. Next Thanks, question, we're gonna to go to Mark Larson. Hey, Tiana, I think you kind of alluded to it uh, where you said every team just seems to shoot lights out against you. Um, now that everybody kind of knows who you are, uh, the Syracuse is, uh, do you feel like you're getting everybody's best game and how, how tough is that? I mean, it was easier to beat people before when nobody really expected you to. Yeah, I think everyone comes in to like beat us obviously and they play their hardest against us they make their shots against us um I think as a team we need to focus on ourselves and make shots ourselves in that first half um it was difficult for us to score um so I think we just have to focus on our game and making baskets what do you think about your your team's NCAA tournament resume right now coach Q has no doubt that you guys are in but but uh, maybe not the seed you want and, and certainly not the momentum you want going into the postseason. Yeah, for sure. I um, think the ACC tournament will be really good for us um, preparing for the NCAA tournament. I believe that our seed right now isn't good and we don't feel like we expect that, even though our games like obviously haven't proven that. We just need to show them at the ACC tournament and these last two games who we really are. I mean, I feel like I've been saying that the whole year. So 
I don't know, I guess we'll just see. But I have confidence. I feel like we all have the confidence. We just have to go out and do it. Good luck. Mark, uh, next question for Tiana is going to be from James Corrigan. Hi, Tiana. Uh, before the season started in one of these press conferences, you said uh, that you were about 95% sure. I think that was the number, 95% sure mm -hmm. that you would not be coming back to Syracuse next season. Has that thinking changed at all? Yes, it's changed to 100%. <laughs> I, I, I want to go pro and I feel ready. And with one quick follow up, uh, well, a bit unrelated. The play for K games have been going on throughout the country in college basketball. You've become almost an ambassador uh, for that initiative. As the year has gone on and as more people have learned your story, what has what kind of outreach have you received from the wider public, whether it be basketball or not basketball, regarding your story? Yeah, really just like a lot of people who are going through it reach out to me. Um, obviously, Play for K, like Stephanie, um, she has reached out to me um, a lot. And... Yeah, just like a lot of people that have been going through it, really. A lot of, uh, there's a couple of people who are coaches as well, want me to come to the school and talk to the kids, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just through like Instagram. And I get a lot through Instagram and Twitter. I just send them to live. <laughs> All right, the next question for Tiana is going to be from Tim Nolan. Tiana, well before this play for K game, you played Wake Forest and their coach decided they were all going to wear pink shoes, even the coaches. What did that gesture mean to you back then, even before, you know, this play for K game was set? Yeah, it meant a lot to me. I think anyone who wears pink um, this month and moving forward, I mean, just not for me, but for the like foundation in general, like it's, it means a lot, I believe, um, to everybody. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just really thoughtful of them. And I just try to like thank whoever thinks about that, you know, I try to thank them and I feel appreciated. Thank you. All right, two more questions for Tiana today. We're gonna go to Josh St. Croix. Hi, Tiana. Um, earlier this year, when you were playing those stretches of four games in eight days, you had said that, you know, you think maybe this could help you guys in the long run. Um, just wondering, you know, as you look to the ACC tournament next week, um, is there anything that maybe you, the team learned during that stretch or um, just anything from that, that stretch of games that can help you guys next week? Yeah, I would just say recovery is very important. I think we all learned that. Um, I also think now looking back, I don't know if it helped us because of the amount of like, it was a lot in such a short period of time. And I feel like when we don't play that many games, we look, even though we lost, I still feel like we looked better. Um, we weren't as sluggish, but yeah, next week, I think it's just about recovery, taking care of our bodies, and, you know, being professionals, uh, when we move into the real world, like we're going to have to stretch on our own. We're going to have to do the little things on our own. And so, yeah, I guess moving into the ACC tournament, taking ice baths and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, last question for Tiana today from Mike Curtis. Hey, Tiana, thanks for talking to us. No um, with this being your last game in the Carrier Dome this weekend, um, in a normal setting, in a normal season, you'll be able to have fans in the stands. Um, is that going to be different this year, obviously, or have you gotten used to it because you've played so many games without fans? Yeah, honestly, I feel like I've gotten used to it, not playing with fans. I was just talking to my friend, though, yesterday. I was like, oh, my gosh, imagine if we're allowed fans. It's the pink game. It's our play for game, and it's our senior night. So, like, I feel we would have gotten a lot of people um, but I don't know. I think we're all used to it. And um, I definitely miss them though. Like I definitely miss people cheering when we make a big basket or, you know, coming out and high-fiving kids and stuff like that. So it sucks, but 
just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and if I could have a quick follow up, um, I know you said you're ready to go pro. Um, mm -hmm. What do you plan to prove over these next few weeks or next month um, that you have remaining plan with Syracuse um, to kind of yeah. improve that stock? Yeah, I mean, I would say I need to shoot the ball more. Honestly, I was watching um, Stanford and Arizona play, and that point guard for Arizona, Ari McDonald, I think her name is, she shoots 20 shots a game, averages 18 shots a game. And I'm out here averaging like seven or eight. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, maybe I do need to shoot it more. You know, it really opened up my, my it really opened up my eyes. And I feel like I need to shoot it more. My percentages are good. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, maybe that's what I need to do. I need to score a little bit more um, for myself, you know, moving forward and for coaches to see my talent. Um, I've just been working out individually by myself after every practice. You know, I've, I came early today. I shot 300 shots. Um, I'm just trying to do everything I can to be the best and perform the best when we play, especially against NC State. I think that is my opportunity to show teams what I can do. Um, obviously Boston College too, but those big games mean a little more um, for us. Look forward to it this weekend. Thanks. All right, thank you. Thank you everyone. That concludes our media availability for today. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow night versus BC at 8 p.m. Thanks Liv. Thanks, Dion. Thanks, Liv.